let's face it, we put a lot of time and effort into our homes. They are a huge investment. Yeah, absolutely. So it's important to maintain the structure of your home, mm -hmm. including your chimney, and that's why we've asked our chimney expert, Ken Hancock, from Hancock Chimney, to come in and talk about waterproofing. Welcome, Ken. An extra Thank important thing this year, it's been so wet. Yes, we've had a really, really wet spring, second wettest in recent memory. You know, chimneys absorb that moisture. Bricks will hold moisture to the point where it'll support plant life. In fact, this brick here shows example it's turning Ooh. green. Yeah. It's from that much moisture being in it, that plant life is starting to grow on it. Wow. wow. So why is that a bad thing? You know, when it's our bricks in our chimney get obviously too much moisture uh, well, what why can, is it a problem what happens then is they start to spall that moisture gets trapped inside in our winters freezes and when that freezing action happens it pops the surface of the brick off exposing the middle part of the brick the middle part of the brick isn't nearly as hard as the outside is uh -huh. once that outside pops off the bricks deteriorate very rapidly like we see in the picture here. Oh, wow, wow, big problems there. Yep. And then you start to see those those bricks actually falling right. down. Right, you'll see pieces of brick on your yard or on your roof. And you look at your chimney, you see little pieces starting to flake off, then you know that you've got a problem that needs to be addressed. And, and that's going to be a bigger problem too when yeah. you have to get your chimney yeah. replaced. Yep. And, and you were saying so often this is the first time that somebody notices something is wrong. Right, quite often until it gets noticed as being bad, you don't think about it. You think, you know, the chimney is going to last forever sure. but reality in Michigan they don't <laughs> <laughs> and you're right we have a lot of weather you know when most chimneys are installed they are waterproofed and I know you were telling right. us that you waterproof the chimneys that you do but it's just over time this can be a problem right, right. waterproofing uh, usually lasts about 10 years okay. for application so every 10 years you want to redo that and I do that with like you know, all commercial buildings when they're built is they want that their investment in that building to, to last so they want the bricks to last and they waterproof you know as standard court mm -hmm. so what if you're moving into a new home and you're not sure if it's been waterproof or not how how can you check really it's hard to what you can do is get a sprayer get your hose out and go up and spray your bricks to see if they absorb moisture or I'll try this one See, you know, this one's pretty wet still, so it's it's not really absorbing. Yeah, because you had actually, you were telling us the story about that brick in particular, right. which is yeah. really old. Can you just yeah. explain that? Okay. Now, this one, there's the, the lichen is starting to grow out of it, and we've had situations where plant life has started to grow out of a brick. At the top of the chimney, sometimes we'll see little trees sprouting uh, right out of the bricks. Just they hold that much moisture. Yeah. What about the other one there? Now, this one, this is a, a Chicago Common. This is a, a brick that's uh, used quite a bit in the area and it's really a softer brick it really shouldn't be used in this type of uh, environment but it is mm -hmm. and so it's really important if you have a pink Chicago common uh, type of chimney to get that waterproof now usually we'll, we'll, we'll find out when we go to do an inspection on a chimney if people haven't had their chimney inspected in a long time we recommend an inspection and then we can do a test to find out if it's waterproof or not and now you said you actually soaked that brick right in water and what happened to it? It absorbed all the water. We put this in a pan till the pan this was totally submerged in the water and eight hours later there was no water left in the pan. The Oops, brick had absorbed wow. it all. Not a good thing. No. <laughs> okay. That's how absorbent they are. Well this is one of your chimneys that has right. been waterproof. You right. have an example for us here. Yeah. And we'll just spray spray the moisture on and it just runs right off. See, it's not absorbing into it's that. It's beating brick, up and yeah, running down. Correct. And that's what we should see happening. Right. So to check it for yourself, if you go up in your chimney with a hose or just a bucket or a little sprayer and spray it on, if it beads up and runs off, then you've, you're waterproof and you're good. But if it absorbs that moisture, then you need to have your chimney waterproof. Mm -hmm. And here's some water on some bricks right now. Right. That's you know, you picture. are offering a special to 8 West viewers uh, yes. today, mm -hmm. if they call, um, with a special discount on waterproofing. Because yeah. some people may be watching this and saying, oh, I have that problem. Or I'm afraid I might have that problem <laughs> real soon. Now, uh, $50 off. If you, uh, get your uh, viewers get a call today, they get a $50 discount off their uh, waterproofing. Okay, which you were mentioning earlier could be a, a huge savings right. on not only the waterproofing itself, but 
if you had to do a whole chimney repair, you were saying those can be upwards of five hundred or a thousand dollars. Yeah, even more. Yeah, so it's like you pay me now or pay me later. <laughs> <laughs> pay you yeah. less now. <laughs> yeah, it's cheap insurance. Waterproofing is really cheap insurance for your chimney. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more cost effective to waterproof and preserve it than it is to let it go bad and then have to redo it. Well, it's nice to know too. You said about ten years yeah. is how long that waterproofing lasts. Yes. And so if if you know you're kind of coming up on that too, that's a little maintenance. You know, as we mentioned at the top, you know, our homes are our biggest investment. That's simply right. the biggest thing that most of us will spend money on. And the chimney is something that's exposed to the weather a lot more than other areas of the house because it's above the roof. It gets no protection from the elements. It's always getting wind, sun, rain, snow, and it takes quite a bit of abuse up there. So we really want to do as much as we can to protect it and make it last as long as possible. Sounds like a great plan. So many things you don't necessarily think about. I know. Right. Definitely. And living in it's Michigan, we all know. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of water. <laughs> Yeah, again, so that special, $15 off waterproofing. We've got HancockChimney.com to check out. We put the numbers on the mm -hmm. screen. We're going to put it on our website, too, okay. so people have that information, and it's easy to find. Thank you so much, right. Ken, for filling us in and uh, letting us know about some simple maintenance that yes. can make a big difference for our home. Great information. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks. We'll be right back. Are you West?